we are starting new project right there that's old grungy's dinette we have to replicate that the best we can so I cleared everything and we're gonna at this point keep it pretty similar to where it converts to a bed so got this wall done you guys saw that that's it though that's the only wall that is complete with the dinette so we gotta we gotta do it we gotta go we're on this wall right now what's that damn animal an animal out there hey animal you know here there it is all right the beginnings what do we got nothing one wall this is what we're working with That's what we're working with. We got a new tube of this stuff and it's under pressure. So it just keeps oozing. Oh my gosh, the Sherman is up there. The wrong time of the day, Sherman, not now. We got the heel kicker wall. We got the peanut butter spread on the corners. I got my lines. I'm going to try and do this without getting it everywhere. It's always difficult. Pretty much like that. And then now that this wall is up, there's a lip here, and there'll be a board here and here. And that's so that you can put a piece of plywood down there and with a little finger hole here and lift it out. The cushions will be on top of that. You can rip a cushion off. This is my thought process. You take the cushion off and then you just take that access piece of plywood out and there you can get to everything. This way, if you wanted to put something like a big toolbox, you could just set it in there from the top then. And you could, you know, have a lot more room than trying to wedge it in that little door right there. So here's the pieces that we're gonna work with. This is from the old furniture company that they make furniture frames and they have scraps. We're gonna try and rip a three quarter inch by three quarter inch out of that. And this is a piece, of, a piece of the old countertop plywood and we're gonna rip that down to three quarters of an inch wide and send them home. Reusable, baby. Lumber's too expensive these days. We're still running off the lumber bought a year ago. Found an old cabinet floor from in the house. We'll just sand that down and paint it. That's how it'll be. Just lay this in here. That's it. Done. There's a seat. Oh, let's sit on it. Oh, hold me. The beginnings of the wall. For the dinette, half inch plywood. Got the next wall installed. And it's pretty much just an extension to that vertical wing wall. So, it's literally an extension for that, and I just used some, you are just so nosy, aren't you? Some uh, pieces on the end, pocket hole screwed in the, into the plywood floor there. Here is the compartment from the exterior looking in the corner, and that's going to be the access to that compartment. And when you come around into the camper, there will be a compartment here on the interior, mirror imaged of that.
Going to hit it with some 60 grit and work our way down to probably like, I don't know, 120. In putting this wall in here, I didn't build this camper perfectly square, just the way it is. Between the floor and the rear wall, but I'm just going to fasten a, a runner there, and then there'll be a gap, fill it with caulk later. Alright, I spread some peanut butter on there. Now I got these supports, one on the horizontal and one on the vertical, and then the wall will go against that. And I got holes pre-drilled in there and sent them home with screws. Also, got a construction adhesive it. Installed. Next is the heel kicker wall, like that one. Next wall, repetition. There's your half inch overhang. Getting the, uh, what are these called? Like little runners. Getting the little, uh, these things. Prep. Just getting them pre-drilled and countersunk so that they go on there nice, got the verticals, got the horizontals, and they're gonna go in here, this piece here, so it rests the um, plywood on there. Good morning, back at it again. More enthusiasm in this clip, it's the next day. We're working on the top here, I didn't show this, but I cut this plywood, it's a little, little, what is that, cupped, warped, whatever the term is. Not a carpenter, not a carpenter. Here we go, this is what we got right now. We have both of the seats done, the end seats done, and there's the plywood cap for that. Well, it's actually an exterior compartment, but it's also a seat. Combo. So let's see if it fits. Well, it fits. And you know what? It's good enough. We have the dinette seating pretty much all the way done. There you go. But boy oh boy is that a big old dinette bed, I'll tell you what. Now we gotta really we gotta really give her hell over here. What the heck was that, Sherman? Huh? There's towhees are out. You smell a towhee? Towhees are out. Get him. Get him, Sherman. Get him. Get him. Get him. All right, coming in here to Grunge Grunge City. If anybody has a keen eye here, they noticed that there is a platform that raises the dinette table leg. This here is the post for the tabletop. Goes in here, okay? And then there's the tabletop. I just, this actually was the top. I just cut it. And there's a platform up there. I'm think there's nothing under that platform at all in this camper in particular. So I'm thinking that they bought the camper comp Sunline bought one type one length post kit, and that was it. And whatever height you needed is what they just built it up. It was cheaper than buying another post. I could be wrong, but here we go. What are we gonna do? So the plan is, I'm not putting that platform in there if I don't have to. I mean, I might find out why it's there later because something don't work, but right now I ain't putting it in. So what I'm thinking about doing is raising, make a spacer for this, its own little cylindrical platform. 
We have the dinette table stand. This comes out and then this is the portion that was mounted on the floor. It's the same thing. It's just the same parts uh, duplicated and it's cast aluminum. So that's pretty cool because we're going to clean them babies up. All right, so this is what we're working with. Both of the stands here and we're going to clean these up. And we got this here, Speedies. Four out um, steel wool here. We're gonna try this 3M cleaner and polish. Says it's good for aluminum. Let's try it. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Fizz action. Well, they aren't glistening, but you know what? They don't need to be, so let's put them in. All right, we need to make that riser. It's a three inch riser. We're just gonna make a cylindrical riser right underneath the pole. Gotta make three inch riser. So I got four pieces of three quarter inch ply scraps, and then there's gonna be the riser. I'm gonna cut out a ring but I don't have a jigsaw blade that's thick enough to cut the cylinder out after they're all glued. So I'm gonna do them in pieces. So I'm gonna nail these, glue and nail these together and see if I can make this work, let's see. Okay, we got the beginnings of this next one. We're gonna put together just like this. So I got it marked out. It's glued and then nailed and then the screws are gonna go here like that, and then just on the inside of the screws is all the nails, so they won't interfere. So I gotta make another one. Okay, I got them glued up, cut. Now I'm gonna stack them, glue them again. So I had little finishing nails holding the two pieces of plywood together. And then I got big finishing nails holding the two pieces sandwiched together for four pieces for a donut. And we're gonna make it a donut here in a second with a hole saw. Board through it with the uh, hole saw. Nice. When you don't have a stationary sander, you improvise. You just clamp that belt sander right in the vise. We'll zip tie that trigger and give her a hug. I got it sanded down to 220. I'm happy with it. The, uh, the donut, without having a scroll saw or a band saw, it worked. All right, so I'm pre-drilling these. I'm putting in these monster screws here, three and a half inch. Here. Now I take this countersink. And that sticks out the amount needed for the half inch plywood underneath. There you go. I get some peanut butter. We just gotta temporarily mount these with these little guys here. I gotta get bigger, bigger screws for the base. I'm going in on an angle because the donut I got really doesn't have much meat around the edge there, so I'd rather go on an angle a little bit just to make sure we're grabbing good wood. All right, that's good enough. That's temporary, but. Got to make the little pieces, the little whatever they're called, little pieces that it that the the um. You guys got to make pieces of wood. So we're gonna use this poplar here, and we're gonna cut it up. There's the little pieces. I got a 45. 
45, pre drilling, let's go. So I have all these pieces in here, they're done. Okay, we have the dinette tabletop here, and we're gonna mark out some the radius on each corner with this coffee can lid. All right, we have the tabletop done. Flip it over upside down, and X marks the spot for the center. That is where we are going to mount. What's really annoying is I don't have the right, I need really short, but like number 10 or 12 screws, but really short, so I don't have the screws. So we're just gonna use these, three of these temporarily, because I have them. First look at dinette. Isn't that nice? Got the riser. Got the riser donut instead of the false floor. Alrighty, what do we got? The dinette is Almost a hundred percent done, but it's gonna be done enough to give you an idea of what the heck's going on. So the you know the pole's a little wonky, but you know what? That's probably just the way that the dinette was, because that's the pole. I didn't make the pole, I made everything else. I didn't make this the pole female ends either, but anyway, that's what we got. So let's break her down. And you take the pole out. I don't know where to put that yet. I guess right there. Put that right there. And now you got a 80 by 36 inch bed. Oh, oh man, I'm gonna fall asleep. Oh, hard as a rock. But I'm 6'3 and I got boots on, man. I'm alright. I tell you what. I'd sleep in this right now. I might sleep in this tonight. The hell with going in the house. Nice. All right, enough of the, the craziness. So there's the, the interaction with the radius. They're not completely against, but you know what? Those, those are uh, pretty big, so we're good.